Today I'll teach you how to perform client side validation for email address using data annotation in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. So the very first thing I'll open Solution Explorer and from there I'll be opening the model class. Now inside the class, I am adding a namespace called system.componentModel.dataAnnotations. This particular namespace is required for data annotations. Here I'll be adding one single property called email, which will be a string property. As you can see, at present I am adding a data annotation required and I am setting the error message for it this particular data annotation is used for performing required validations it is very similar to required field validator now i'm decorating the property with a regular expression data annotation attribute this particular attribute will be set with two parameters the first parameter is the regular expression for validating the email address while the second parameter is the error message which will be displayed to the user when the validation fails so with this our model class is complete now let's move to the view now i'm creating a form using mvc html helper methods i'm making use of begin form method it accepts three parameters the first one is name of the action result method which is index the second one is name of the controller which is home and the third one is the type of call in this scenario it is a post call now inside the form i am creating an html table and within the html table the very first thing which i am adding is a text box and for text box i am making use of text box for method and i'll be binding it to the property the next thing i am adding is the validation message element which will be used to display the validation error message here I am making use of validation message for method and I am binding it to the property. Now here you will notice I am adding attribute named class. This is required for setting the CSS class so that our error message is displayed in red color. Now I am adding a submit button and for that I am making use of input element. And I am setting the type as submit. Now let's move to the controller. Inside the controller, now I am adding an action result method for handling post call. The reason is that I will be submitting a form. So that form will be submitted to this particular method. I am naming it as index and I am passing the person model class object as parameter. Inside the function, I am simply retaining the view function. Here I am decorating the method with the HTTP POST attribute. Now again, let's move back to the view part. last but not the least i'll be adding the scripts which are required for performing the validation on client side so for that purpose i am making use of render function of the script class and here you will notice i am making use of a word called bundles for this particular project i have already created the bundles and if you are unaware what is bundle you can click on the link on the right hand side of this video that link will take you to the video where i'll explained what are bundles and how it is used and what is the purpose of creating bundles. As you can see, I have added two bundles, jQuery and jQuery well. The first one is for jQuery libraries, while the second one is for the validation libraries. Here I have pasted some CSS classes. This is required for styling the view as well as setting the color for the error message, which will be displayed during validation. So, with this we complete our programming part and now it's time to run our project and see it in action.
as you can see the text box and the button has been rendered and also the required validations is working fine now i'll be adding email address in the text box so as you can see the regular expression validations is working fine so with this we come to the end of this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye